Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. I'm going to talk about the Sonora Grand Motor and the bent spindle shaft and how to try to bend it back into place. And 90% of the time this works. What I've done is I've hooked up my dial indicator. And you have to have a lathe to do this. You can't do this at home. I've used the dial indicator, and these things move like that. It tells you the run out. And I checked in here, so the bend is in here. It's not right here. So I can move the shaft back for support because these jaws are real long about like that. It's going to hold it in place while I bend it back into place. And we're going to, I'm going to use my two little machinist hammers and we're just going to do a little tappy 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 for a while. And this takes a long time. Are you going to show how that, that handle I'm, wiggles when you... Yeah, let me, I'll move the chuck. I'm at zero. We have a little run out here, don't we? It's running out way. It's kind of bent like that. So what we need to do first Well, that's not good on that. Let's put that right there for now. We're going to lock it in here like that. Just a little bit out like that. Come back, set this at the height, lock down your magnetic base, you roll out, and we're coming up the height. There we go. see there here's the bottom and there's the top right there so you can take the magnetic base off move that over here lock that down and you're gonna go can you use a regular hammer on that no you got to use something copper or brass to beat it Oh, I took a lot of it out. We're almost 200 thousandths out, and I'm less than 100 thousandths now. This is all the feely touchy, and we're going to have to tap, tap, and then it's going to get down into the tens of thousands. So I'll use the little one to tap this out. Because when I tested everything, the wear mark here was 20 thousandths out it had worn down 20,000. So there's always going to be a little bit of wiggle in this because of wear here. But if I can get this out, then I've saved the shaft. You know, And this takes a lot of work, but you could send this out to a machine shop or get on social media and ask some hobby machinist, hey, are any hobby machinists around in my area? And you take it to them and say, hey, I saw this video how this guy bent this out. Could you do that for me? You know, take a six pack of beer, a couple of nice bottles of wine, You'd be good to go. And this is my tip for the day.